guys, my name is Kyle. I'm going to be teaching you some small tips and tricks that will increase your efficiency on old school RuneScape. I just want to start off by saying I know this probably isn't the way everyone plays the game. Uh, obviously play it however you want, but if you do want to get faster XP rates and overall be better at the game, um, these would be some good tips, so yeah. Tip number one is to play on small screen. This might be a bit odd for some of you, um, considering it is just an odd tip, but um, playing on small screen gives you better FPS. As you can see, I'm locked on 50 FPS up the top here. Um, if I'm full screen on this monitor, which is freaking huge, um, I'll be around like 20 FPS, and you can really see the difference. Along with FPS, you'll also have closer actions. Um, so you can don't have to move your mouse as far and overall decreases the time it takes to do certain actions. So yeah, that's tip one. Play on small screen if you're doing something like standing at a bank. But if you're doing, I don't know, bossing or uh, slayer or something, you might not need to. And yeah, it depends on the task really. So tip number two, this is <laughs> one of the biggest ones, uh, so I thought I'd include it earlier, but use third party clients. Um, I played on the original old school RuneScape client for a very long time and it was pretty useless. Um, as soon as I used, my first client I used was OS Buddy, uh, that gave me so many features, um, but they kind of mucked around a bit with some things I use. So I moved over to Conduit and then Runelight. Um, all three of them are great clients to use. I'll leave a link in the description for them. Um, have a play around with all three clients. Um, I probably wouldn't choose any clients other than those three. But um, yeah, there are so many features. I'll go through some now. So I'm on Runelight at the moment. Um, as you can see on the side here, this is just a panel that you bring out like this. Um, if you hit hit on settings, oops, if you go to settings here, you can just see how many features there are just in Runelight. Um, yeah, there's a ton of different things, um, all of which are incredibly helpful. And you've got an XP tracker on the side. You can look up Grand Exchange stuff, World Switcher. You've got this um, time tracker so you can see your herbs and uh, birdhouses and whatnot. Um, and then, yeah, you've got a few other features I'll go through a bit later. Um, but, yeah, it's just crazy how many features this has. So definitely get one of these clients and um, have a play around with it. So this is tip number three. Um, use Windows mouse keys. Uh, it's a pretty controversial kind of tip. For me to be given out as uh, they did ban AHK, like Auto Hotkey, and a couple other uh, programs like that. But um, <laughs> you are allowed to use Windows mouse keys to a one to one script. Uh, I won't go into detail of what that means or how to use Windows mouse keys. Um, so, Windows mouse keys is this thing I've been using here to do my banking. So, what Windows mouse keys does is uh, you can set keys to have different actions say my Q right clicks and then I press W it goes down a certain amount and then I press E and it left clicks and so you can do that in like a certain action um, but yeah it's just a matter of creating a script and yeah relocating keys to do those tasks the reason why uh, Jagex decided to ban AHK usage is because um, people were using the scripts not in a one-to-one -one ratio so they would have one key say they would press Q it would do all three of those actions for them um, and they just couldn't find a way to get around it and said nah no one's using it anymore uh, you have to use Windows mouse keys which is a lot more difficult to use but um, does pretty much the same thing in only a one-to-one -one ratio so yeah, um, you get heaps faster XP using it, um, definitely pick it up if you're doing something like um, like a bank standing skill or 
room crafting or something like that, it's extremely helpful and I'd recommend watching a video on it if you are interested. So what a lot of people don't realize is that you can play zoomed in or zoomed out. Um, this is actually quite a big one. Uh, playing zoomed in, it's kind of like playing on small screen, it's the same kind of concept. You've got less distance between your actions that you need to do and if you play on small screen, say doing this, you can set up a screen marker which I'll go through later and you just click that, it's in the same spot so you don't have to move it and yeah, playing zoomed in is good for something like that but playing zoomed out uh, can be good for doing something like agility or um, some other task like that where you need to see and be able to click ahead a lot but um, yeah just remember you can zoom in and out it's quite helpful tip number five is play around with your old school RS settings um, in the official client and whatnot um, there's a lot of things you can change that will affect your efficiency um, such as you can set up your key bindings um, you can have the escape key close your bank and stuff like that so when you're in the bank you don't have to go all the way up here you can just press the S key um, and like I've got my mouse keys set for my combat um, options and also my inventory so when I'm PvPing and stuff I can easily get to my spec web um, along with that you've got shift click to drop items which is really good I had highly recommend using that if you haven't already um, in your advanced options you can turn off your data orbs and stuff so you can click past them if you're doing something zoomed in like this um, and then obviously you can make your uh, interfaces transparent which is uh, I recommend turning on and then you can also change like close your side panels with the hotkeys and stuff like that yeah and there's just a few things that will increase your efficiency just in the actual client Alright, tip number six. Um, this is to use the Crystal Math Labs. Uh, ignore the name. It's an old school XP tracker. Um, it's really helpful if you're interested in knowing how much XP and stuff you've been getting. Uh, you just type in your name here, you'll track it, come back every day, and you can update it. Um, the Runelight client actually updates it for you so you don't have to ever. Uh, update it once you've initially tracked it and you can see how much XP you get every day and um, throughout the month and yeah it's quite helpful if you're looking at stuff like that you might also want to know that um, there's an EHP calculator uh, EHP just means efficient hours played and so it tells you kind of how long you've got till uh, your 99 everything or 200 mil everything but um, yeah you just type in your name it will search it up for you uh, shows you how many uh, let's say like gold ores you need for 99 smithing or shows you all the profit how much it would cost and yeah it gives you the time till max so I'm 400 hours till max if I play like a fucking nerd yeah if you're interested in something like that give it a give it a sus um, you scroll down the same page, uh, it shows you what the efficient XP is for different skills at what levels. So it's showing you're supposed to be getting about 160k XP an hour if you're playing on uh, like a solid ping world. Um, but yeah, have a sus of this and then you can calculate how long you've got till you're 99 everything or yeah, if you just want to get a couple of skills up, it's good to know how much XP you should be getting. So you'll be wanting to play on the lowest ping world you can play on. Um, this will depend on whereabouts you are in the world. I'm an Australian so a world 390 is my lowest ping world. Um, to find this out I've made a video on it which I'll leave the link in this video um, and you can find the ping for your best world depending on whereabouts you are. The lower ping, the less laggy it will be for you. So number eight is screen markers. Um, that's this kind of green box on my screen here. 
Runelight has its own screen markers feature where you can um, draw boxes in game. Done, easy as. Um, otherwise, if you don't use Runelight, you can download something called Epic Pen. It's a uh, website online and it's just, yeah, it draws screen markers. Screen markers are good because, yeah, as you can see when I'm banking, it shows you where something is before you open the interface um, so you know where to put your mouse. Uh, it's good for stuff like training um, rune crafting and stuff as well if you're doing astrals and need to teleport every run um, you just draw a box um, on say the teleport and then you can use your uh, hotkeys to um, use the teleport. So my final tip to you guys um, is to use bank tags and to actually organize your bank. Um, I've got it so, I've got like my range, mage, melee gear, then potions and food and a bunch of stuff like that. Um, you can organize your banks however you want, but um, I always had problems with, I'd finish something and say when I was doing Slayer, I'd get a clue scroll and then I'd have to bank all my gear and spend five minutes getting my clue scroll gear out but you can actually use bank tags to just type in clue you've got all your clue scroll stuff you can do this by right clicking an item going edit tags say if I want this under um, KBD or something for some reason I can just type KBD and then I've got my dragon fire shield there ready for KBD <laughs> so yeah it's uh, organize your bank, it will s save you so much time rather than standing at your bank trying to figure out what you need. Again, you can use these tabs, but I found tags are a lot more helpful. So yeah. For those of you that are stuck around, I'm going to give you another bonus tip as well. I um, thought I'd include it because it's been really helpful for myself. Um, RS Buddy has a efficiency tool calculator kind of thing. Um, what you can do is just type in your stats. So you want 99 prayer. Gives you the amount of whatever you have to do and how much it would cost. And it is extremely helpful in just determining prices. And if you want to work out how much of something you'll need for something, then put your stats in and go from there. So that's just rsbuddy.com slash efficiency. So thanks for watching my video. I really hope it's been helpful and you've learned something that you didn't know before. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know why in the comments. Um, yeah, cheers guys.